Hi everyone, it's Al Isakov from alisakov.com. As always, you can subscribe to my newsletter at my website and just get these videos delivered right to your mailbox. Uh, I posted a hyperlapse video about hip mobility and stability, and I had a lot of requests to put into real time. So here I am, gonna put into real time. And I'm actually, this time I use uh, one of my yoga tuna balls, which you'll see, it's gonna come in handy. So we're just gonna start with your legs straight, and you're gonna lift up the right leg, and what you can do there is you can just bring that knee in, uh, into the ball, and just bring the ball between the thigh, and then flex, and then make fists with your hands, and hold. One, just breathe in, five full breaths, two, three, four, and it's gonna do little taps, inhale, exhale. Inhale, the ball should stay in, and it just allows that engagement right around the hip flexor. Beautiful, you're gonna release the ball, you're gonna straighten the leg, and then with control, this is also part of the mobility, is lift it up, keep it flexed, shift the weight, and then bend the knee. Good. Bring your hands on either side, point the foot, you have to draw the thigh into the hip socket, keep stability around your torso, and you're gonna lift it up and circle one way, one, two, three, four, five, and the other way, one, two, three, four, and five, keep it flexed, and then bend the knee. This has been my go-to pigeon pose recently. I'm not really into the passive pigeon poses at the moment. So keep the legs in 90 degree angle, keep this foot flexed. Now, if you have stuff going on in your hip and it's gonna cause you any pain or discomfort, feel free just to have your fingers on the ground and go up and down. Otherwise, make fists. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, keeping the engagement. I'm pressing, I'm pressing the foot into the mat. Press the foot into the mat. Good, now you're gonna hold here. Now you're gonna draw the foot towards you, like it's magnetizing towards you. You can either stay here, or you can have your fingers down. One, like the drawing the thigh towards you. Two, three, four. Come all the way up. If you need to touch the ground, it's okay. You're gonna lift up and you're gonna pivot. You're gonna adjust your pelvis, and you're gonna let your arms just go on the inside. And even though it's passive, there will be a little bit of engagement just to keep your arms there. And just kind of close your eyes and just take five or so breaths. Keep the feet flexed. Beautiful. So, option here to keep your fingers behind you, especially if it's your first time. Try and keep your torso upright. And all you're gonna inhale, as you're actually you gonna bring the knees, the hip lifts, can you see how the heels stay on the ground? You're gonna inhale and then exhale. After a few times doing the sequence, so maybe not this time, maybe lift up the hands. It's really important your torso does not move back and forth. We're gonna do one more each way. And then we're gonna hold it here. Beautiful. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. So as much as you can, really stabilize around the core and just extend one leg and then lift it up and use the strength and stability and do the other way. Here we go, we're gonna use the ball again. Bring it in and flex the foot. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Maintain this energy connection and then little taps and lift. Two more times. Beautiful. Release, straighten with control. Here we go. Engaging, flex, and open. Bring the fingers on either side, point your foot. Here we go, lift, and one, two, three, four, five, and the other one. One, two, three, four, and five. Lift it up, keep it flexed, keep it flexed, and bring it over, nine degree angle. So as I said, remember you can keep your fingers on either side. First, you're gonna draw the thigh down the whole time as we go up and down, or engage your core, and here we go. One, two, three, four, and 
five, bring the fingers down. This time, draw the thigh up towards you energetically, like you're trying to connect the thigh to the ribs, the ribs to the thigh, and breathe. And you can also keep the hands lifted. Come on up, prayer hands, release, just kind of hold it there for a moment with gentle resistance. I'm going to add on one little part that I didn't put into the hyperlapse. You're going to bring your hands together. You're going to lift up and you're going to bring that right foot in. And then you're going to lift up and you're going to bring this foot in. Here we go. Lift up. Externally rotate your right thigh. And then bring it back. Lift up. Externally rotate your left thigh. And then bring it back in internal rotation. Draw the toes towards you. Flex the feet. Maybe bring your hands and then just take 10 breaths here. If this is too much, you can release and just grab both of the feet, elbows in front of the shins, and then breathe and lengthen the spine. Close your eyes and breathe. Breathe right, feel the expansion in your lower back and your whole pelvic area. Lengthening it up, always an opportunity to find the work. So lift up and straighten, lift up and straighten. Thank you everyone, hope you enjoyed the hip mobility stability sequence uh, and stay tuned, there'll be more coming up soon. As always, catch me at lisakov.com and subscribe, lots of stuff coming up.